Lord. All right, my friend, if you could tell me about this photo here. Well, that photo was shot on November the 30th, 2002, on the birthday of Gordon Parks. So it's 90 of the top black photographers in the country uh, came together in Harlem for a group shot on 126th Street, West 126th Street, to celebrate Gordon Parks on his actual 90th birthday. And what's unique about it is that not only do you have some of the top photographers in all walks of life, um, from documentary work, film work, journalism, fashion, uh, I tried to, to select photographers who had worked in the same vein as Gordon Parks over the lifetime of his career. Um, so we have photographers there who shot stills for motion pictures. Uh, Spike Lee's brother, David Lee, is in that picture. We have uh, uh, Dee Stevens, who's done a lot of motion picture photography, as well as Bruce Tolleman. Uh, we have three of the White House photographers, including the former chief White House photographer for Bill Clinton and the chief White House photographer for uh, George W. Bush is in that photo. Uh, some other unique elements of the photo is that it took place, the, uh, the stoops that we use uh, belong to Vi Higginson of um, the famous traveling theater group, Mom, I Want to Sing. So those two uh, buildings belong to her side by side. I just stumbled upon them when I was looking for a good venue to take pictures uh, of the group. And I, I wanted to maintain a historic look of the old stoops and it's in homage to the Great Day in Harlem jazz photo that was taken by Art Kane back in 1958. Mm -hmm. Now, directly across the street from the photo is a, a Studio Museum of Harlem. So there's an open plaza there. And so we're looking directly at the Studio Museum of Harlem. And um, there's a new building there now. I think H&M is right beside the plaza. And on the other side of the plaza, is the Adam Clayton Powell uh, office building. Mm -hmm. So it's a very historic um, area that we took this, this historic picture in. So apparently, what was this, winter of 2002? Yes, November the 30th. So that was um, actually Thanksgiving weekend. So I asked all the photographers if they could get there uh, the dinner was on me. So I organized a dinner later that night for 200 guests. Mm -hmm. And uh, I covered the cost on everything. I just said, I just need the photographers to get there because I know if I had charged them to come, some people were not going to be able to make it. Mm -hmm. And particularly on Thanksgiving weekend, some came just for the photo, uh, which was taken on, uh, on a, a Friday. I believe it was Friday. And um, then they had to leave and go back either for personal reasons or they had jobs to do. And um, that night we had the dinner and the following day, that Saturday, I had given out film to, to those who wanted to participate in a photo shoot where we fanned out in Harlem and uh, photographed just whatever we wanted to photograph. It was intended to be a follow-up exhibition, uh, which never came to be, but but we still have the images shot by some of the uh, top photographers in the country. Uh, people like uh, Kwaku Austin is in that picture. He did the the Legends Weekend for Oprah. Mm. Uh, Matthew Jordan Smith, another famous photographer who does a lot of celebrity work. Which one is he? Uh, Matthew, I can't see it because this, this meeting sign is up. He's up at the top somewhere, uh, probably on the opposite side, come down. Uh, I don't see him immediately. This, there, he, uh, right there. I think that's him. Yeah, on the right corner uh, with the black, yes. I think that's him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and uh, I mean, it's all type of historical, 
uh, people who've done historical work, uh, book authors, mm -hmm. magazine photographers. Uh, Deborah Willis is right there uh, next to the, the lady with the orange scarf. Deborah Willis, of course, uh, used to work at the Schomburg and and also worked for the Smithsonian. And of course, now she's the, the dean at NYU in the Tisch, um, I guess, media school. I mean, I could just go on and on about, I mean, some of the jazz great Chuck Stewart is in this photo. Chuck Stewart worked with uh, Herman Leonard, legendary jazz photographer. Where is he? A lot of, a lot of his scenes you see on walls in jazz restaurants. Chuck Stewart's down on the front row to the right, I believe. Uh, the the sign is is in the way of the photo. Is there a way to re re reduce that meeting sign? The meeting is recorded in progress. Oh, uh, on your screen. So yeah, if you mouse over it, you can drag it to the side. Oh, can I? Okay. All right, okay. good. All right, so let's see, where's Chuck? Okay, he said front row. It's front row. Yeah. Uh, Chuck Stewart. I think this is Chuck here. Can you see my arrow? No, not at all. No? Nope. I'm just okay. controlling. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you see the guy in the trench coat, the yellow, uh, sort of tan trench coat? With a cap? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To the to the right of him. No, the other side. Oh, okay. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, to, to our right. Mm -hmm. I think that's Chuck Stewart there. Glasses? Yes. Awesome. And there you that's, are. Uh, yeah, that's Jeffrey Allen Salter uh with the braids and the gray. Here? No. No. Uh over to the left, yes, right there with the gray. Mm -hmm. That's Jeffrey Allen Salter. Above him is uh, Anthony Barboza, a well-known fashion photographer. Uh, to the right is John Pendehues. Uh, to the right of, of John is Kareen Simpson. Mm -hmm. And right behind Kareen is Deborah Willis. Mm -hmm. And that's Linda Day to the right with the red, with the red, uh, Scarf on, orange scarf. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just uh no, you know, behind Linda Day, that's uh Eli Reed. This fella here? Yeah, Eli Reed is the uh probably the only black photographer or, or, or one of the few black photographers with Magnum, uh the famous photo agency. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I could go on and on talking about a lot of these people. I mean, all of them are newsmakers, history makers. I mean, there's a Roland Freeman all the way at the top with his with his leg up on the window sill. Roland Freeman um, just negotiated for North Carolina Chapel Hill to take over his collection. Uh, it was bought through the Kohler Foundation and donated to North Carolina Chapel Hill some 400,000 prints, 24,000 slides. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, 400,000 negatives, 24,000 slides, and about another um, 16 or 20,000 prints. But um, that's good to, to see where your collection go. Chester Higgins Jr. is all the way to the left in the orange. Yeah. Yeah, he worked at New York Times for probably close to 30 years or more. Mm. And right next to him is Bruce Toleman, who did a, a book on uh, 70 soul singers and musicians, um, legendary photographer. And right next to Bruce with the cap on is, is uh, oh, what's his name? He's, he, he does photography for Wynton Marcellus uh, mm -hmm. at the Lincoln Center. He's like the fish photographer up there. Um, his, his, his relatives, uh, Phineas Newborn, the uh, jazz artist and the whole family came out of Memphis. Yeah, but a lot of history there. A lot of, a lot of history. And that's awesome. All right, my friend.
Okay. I think that uh, does it for us for today.